it interests me. <laughs> Painting does. It comes really for, for, with me to, to like uh, enjoying living, really. And it moves me if I see some really good painting. Deep down, what I love about the human form is that they're people, and I I'm really relate to people. But also, um, I, li I liked the fact of the figure to, in relationship to a setting, not just doing it alone. That's why I love painting in here. It's difficult to explain in a nutshell what happened to me, because I, I went to the Royal College and I got a scholarship to Rome, and I was well on the way of developing my own career. Having the kind of background that I've come from, which was very non-conformist, religious, I transferred the whole passion for religion to my painting. <laughs> it got me into the Royal College. Is I put one of those, I had to submit six. It was a bowl of, of, sort of, with, with rhododendrons in it, which I'd picked on the way to the art school. It was significant because I rather ignored the subject that I'd so carefully set up, and I went for the spatial qualities. I still am very fond of it because it, although it's very scrappily painted, it holds up, it has a presence. That still interests me, that's why I like interiors, so that I can do a door and a window and get the space in between. I just fell in love with him, I suppose. He wasn't the kind of man that you could really have his and her studio, like some painting couples can. It had to be him. I'm the artist in this house, he said. <laughs> My mother and father couldn't believe that I could have going to marry somebody, A, who was older, to who was drinking. They, they couldn't bear it. But afterwards, they did come and stay here, and they actually got quite fond of Roger, because despite his drinking and his rudeness, he was very responsible. We had, had some happy times. That's where the oi 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 came from, that big painting. We were out in the south of France then, and, I, and he was in a really bad mood, and I did this thing. It was a really hot day, taking my clothes off and dancing about on the balcony, not realising at the end of the field there was a haystack on fire, and all the firemen were putting it out, and they were suddenly, <laughs> their attention got up, to, turned around the other way. <laughs> I had about 10 years after he died of just painting because the boys were at school. And then the Newlyn Art Gallery offered me a show that was in 1987. That was quite successful and that's the one I think David Messam saw and then asked me to join his gallery. I remember that painting from last yeah. time, actually. I, that's really... Come, uh, just needs a little bit more done to do it. That's so it's a harmony of That's what you always say, darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about you, David, is that you haven't pushed me in any particular direction, and I'm really grateful for that. She's started to paint these most amazing pictures later in her life, actually, and they've obviously been inside her for a long time. Uh, I think she feels completely liberated now to paint what she feels internally. Um, the publication of the book and um, uh, the new exhibition. I mean, it's going to be a great moment. Well, Ian, and it's been fun doing. It should be a very interesting and lively book. The story's been full of incidents, as we knew it would be. Your life has been very <laughs> eventful. Well, it's really mostly about the 40 years since Roger's death. It is, died. Yeah. yeah. You could view it that um, I, the, the 10 or 16 years that I spent with Roger was, was a kind of delay in, in my painting, but really I did learn a lot, a, you did. A lot from you did. being married to such a painter. Yeah. yeah. And I think you were, you were the match for Roger because you, actually um, so many people have been influenced by him, but you kept your own voice. That's what I, th I think it showed your strength. Uh, oh, well, that's good because. I don't think he'd be very pleased if I'd copied his form. Which so many people have done. <laughs> yeah. Rose is, is, is the last survivor of the glory days of, of, of Cornish painting, of modern art in Cornwall. 
Uh, but she, so she's, she's been part of all of this, but she's very much a singular presence too. That's a good boy. To get out there and see the immensity of it all, um, the cliffs and so, so on, there again, it's that whole big space. It kind of puts things in perspective, that does. And that's what I love about living down here.